guys and welcome back to another Doctor Who review. In today's review I'm taking a look at the Andrew Skilleter Target Art Calendar 2018 from Who Dares Publishing. So once again thank you very much to Who Dares Publishing for sending me a copy of this calendar to review and it is as ever a beautiful piece. So as the calendar explains this is Andrew Skilleter's artwork from the Target novelizations and then on the front we have a very interesting composite image of the Time Monster art cover with Tom Baker from The Power of Kroll, which works really well because the Time Monster art cover is visually incredibly striking, a lot more striking than the story itself. So onto the back you can see we have a full rundown of the 12 different covers that feature in the calendar, and then at the bottom we have the artist's biography, as well as the credits, the Target logo, and also the Who Dares Publishing logo. So, Opening the calendar up, you'll notice there are quite a few differences compared to the 2017 calendar. The obvious one to begin with is that it is a smaller size. The previous calendar was a lot larger, while this is in an A4 size. It still features the same ring binding at the top, which is great because it means it's very strong and secure. And then, as you can see, when you look at the artwork, they've added a few differences compared to the previous calendar, in which the previous calendar was basically just the art as is. There was nothing else to it and then beneath that you had your days of the month and then you had a little bit of information about each piece of artwork. Well for this calendar instead you do have the days of the month but they're not boxed out so it is literally just the days, there's no space to write anything. You do still have the artist's information about the construction of the piece which is always fascinating to read. But the interesting thing is when you look at the art itself. This time they've printed it with a Target logo a new logo saying Target Art and then the story title. So what they're trying to do here is replicate those original covers as much as possible. The book title is in the same font as was used at the time and what they've cleverly done here is the Target Art logo has been produced in the same Doctor Who logo that would have been printed on the book at the time, which is a really nice touch. So with January you've got the very 1970s style, you've got the diamond logo and we have Tom Baker and Sontar and Storr from The Invasion of Time. Move on to the following month, February, everything changes. We have this really lovely cover for the Crotons and as you can see the logo has now changed. Here we have the 1985 Colin Baker logo, so the purple coloured neon version. And then you can just see the dazzling artwork for the Crotons itself, which looks absolutely phenomenal. The way that the light glistens off the crystalline structure of the Crotons make them look far better than what they did in the TV series. And what makes it more striking is the fact that there's not lots of things going on, the background is very subtle, and then you just have the visual image of the Croton. And that is something that Andrew Skilleter talks about in his little notes at the bottom. And then as you carry on through the calendar, you begin to notice that there's a running theme. A lot of these covers don't have the Doctor on, and this is something that Skilleter points out in his production notes. One of my favourite covers from this calendar has to be for May, which is the Myth Makers. You've got that amazing image of the Trojan horse against the sky, and then just beneath it you have the TARDIS with that lovely sort of celestial fade-in effect, which looks really, really lovely. And as you go through, you'll notice that there's quite a few different Key to Time covers. We've got the Power of Kroll, which is also used on the front of the calendar itself. We have the Androids of Tara, which is really great. There's lots going on here. You've got K9 in the background, you've got um, the Prince as well as Romana, and you also have another Key to Time cover in the form of the Stones of Blood, which is great. You've got the Kaliak on there, you've got Tom Baker, and you've got the cultists around the Stones of Blood themselves, which is really great. And the covers are just generally really fantastic. Day of the Daleks is another great one with the Ogrons at the front looking particularly menacing. Skeletor goes on to mention how he thinks that they're one of the more convincing aliens of classic Doctor Who and I think most people will agree with him there. Obviously for me we've got the Pyramids of Mars which is of course my favourite Doctor Who story and this is actually a target novelisation that I do own so it's great to see the artwork reprinted here in such high quality. What I particularly like about this calendar is that the artwork is based on some pretty below average Doctor Who stories. The Crotons, The Dominators, The Time Monster, even Enlightenment to a degree. But what I really like about that is the fact that the artwork itself 
makes the story seem so much better than what it actually is. I love the cover to the Dominators, that massive quark which is quite literally dominating the cover and then you have a Dominator in the bottom and then the other quark at the bottom. It just looks fantastic. It really evokes 1960s sci-fi. Quite a different but again another interesting cover is the Five Doctors cover which features all five incarnations of the Doctor, however only in silhouette and apparently that was actually part of the brief for Andrew Skeleter. And you've got the TARDIS and the Dalek and the Cybermen and K9 as well. I'm pretty sure that when this cover was released it was sort of like a metallic cover, it's not a book that I own, but I'm sure that it was eventually printed as a cover with some sort of like a foil background. And then as we go all the way to December, we go back to the Time Monster. The Time Monster's artwork is incredibly visually striking, beautiful. The eyes in particular are just amazing. They look absolutely fantastic. So again, much like with the previous art calendar that Who Dares Publishing released, if you are a fan of the Target novelizations like I am, this is completely up your street. You will absolutely love this. It's great to see stories represented here that don't often get a lot of love, but like I said, the artwork for these stories are so beautiful. The Myth Makers, the Time Monsters, the Crotons, the Dominators, really, really stunning covers. So this is $14.99 from Who Dares Publishing. You can order this from their website now, and I will post a link in the description below. And like I said, once again, massive thank you to Matt Doe at Who Dares Publishing for sending this along. And yeah, highly recommend this calendar uh, if you're a fan of classic Doctor Who and of course the Target novelization range. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all again very soon for another Doctor Who review. Bye bye!